Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial, let's talk about dark mode. Dark mode is a color scheme that uses light colored text, icons, and other graphical user interface elements on a dark background. So an example is this particular website. Now as you can see, the color theme is light, which is like white background and, and so on. When I go ahead to click on this particular icon, you notice that everything here switches to dark mode which means the background color changes to dark or black and then um, the text changes to white or something that is visible to read so this is useful especially for night browsing most of the time in the night when you have light mode on it throws a lot of light onto the eye sometimes making it difficult to be able to you know go about scrolling through the website but if you use dark mode, this reduces the amount of light that is thrown into the eye on either a mobile device or a desktop device. As part of that also, dark mode also saves um, a lot of battery power, especially on mobile devices. The amount of brightness is reduced and that means that you wouldn't have a lot of your battery being drained. So let's take a look at the various ways to go about dark mode and we do a better version 18. Currently, according to dark mode color scheme, there are two ways to go about that. One way is using the manual mode, and then the other way is using the predefined mode or that is using the style manager to style the way you want your dark mode to be. So let's take a look at how to toggle between these two options. Um, to do this, you have to go to the tools and your ribbon, and then go to options. Now, when you go to options, head over to where you have HTML and then under HTML locate the CSS section. So when you come to CSS section, you notice there's dark mode over here. When you click on the drop down arrow, you notice there's manual as well as there's pre uh, prefers color scheme. So manual mode means that you are the one going to control the dark mode using an event and then the pre um, prefers color scheme as where you do this using the style manager. So let's take a look at how to go about this using the manual mode. That is where we are going to control the dark mode with event. And then we'll take a look at how to do the prefers or using the color scheme as well. So I'll leave my selection on manual over here and then click on OK. Now this is a, an already designed template which I downloaded from Wizard Web Builder website. Um, there isn't much over here, so it's basically text and then a few other objects. Now there is an icon over here, which has, you know, light, more or less like a moon. So dark mode and then the light mode. So I'm going to use this particular icon to control my dark mode on this particular page. To do this, I'll double click on this and then I'll head over to the event section. And then under events, I'll click on add. Now, there are lots of event properties over here, especially with Visual Web Builder version 18. But what I'm going to be interested in is I'm going to leave this on click. So on click means that once I click on this, what should take place or what should happen? That is where you come to action. There are lots of actions here, so but I'm going to be using the toggle dark color scheme. So that means that once I click on this particular icon, it is going to switch from one color scheme to the other. Now you can also control this using different kind of events, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we are only going to use the on click one. So I'll click on this, click on OK, and then click on OK. So I'll go ahead to preview this page so we are able to take a look at it. So let me go ahead and then preview this. And as you can see, interestingly, I already have dark mode over here. How is that even possible? Because of this event we added. So when I click on this, it switches back when I click on this, it switches back to dark mode. Now that is how you can use an event to control dark mode. Let me take away the event and then let's take a look at that as well. And then I'll go ahead to let me preview this instead. So you notice that this is back to default. When I come back here, you notice that I'm able to use the event to control that. So that is one way you can go about using the dark mode, especially the manual mode and using events to control that. So the other way is using the color scheme mode. So that means that you have to change um, from manual 
to color scheme. So you have to come to tools and then options and then under your HTML where you have CSS, you change from manual to prefers color scheme. Now you notice that everything on this particular page is, you know, has a light background. And when I go ahead to preview this, let me just preview this. You notice that it switches to a back, um, that is a dark background. This is because of the color scheme. So let's take a look at how to tweak or make changes to the color scheme. To do this, you have to come back to your tools and then come to style manager. Under style manager, you notice that we have different color schemes or themes over here. To edit any, you just simply have to click on the edit or even to add any, you simply have to click on add. Let's take a look at the edit aspect. So I'll click on this and then click on edit. And the cool thing about Wizard Web Builder version 18 is the fact that you can search for what you're looking for. So I can type in here dark and it shows me all the elements or options or properties that can be changed using a the dark theme. And then all I have to do is to go ahead to play with the colors based on what I would want to show, especially when I'm switching to dark mode and then that is going to take effect. So that is how to go about applying dark mode, either using the manual mode, which you are going to control all the objects with event, or using the color scheme mode where you are able to do this using a style manager. Now there's also another way to dark color mode, which is invert all colors. Now to be able to see this property or option, you simply have to right click on objects you have in your website project and then come to dark color scheme and then you have invert. Now, once I select this and I preview this, you see what happens. This is basically negating the colors. You notice ideally this should have been white. And because I selected invert, this is changing that to black. So that is how to also use the invert option with um, dark mode and WYSIWYG web builder. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime I have a new video, you get to see it. So that'll be about it for now. Thank you for watching.